Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. In the previous segment, we reviewed the fundamental aspects of AWS infrastructure from regions to subnets. Are you eager to get started with your first VMware Cloud on AWS Software Defined Data Center? I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, you'll see exactly how to set up the AWS services that are required in order to deploy an SDDC. VMware Cloud on AWS is available in a growing number of global AWS regions. For the latest list of supported regions, please see the FAQ. When selecting a region, consider compliance requirements, data sovereignty, or technical aspects like proximity to your customers or location of other business applications that may be sensitive to latency. Also note that not every region supports stretch clusters. So if you intend to use this option for increased resiliency, please review the FAQ to check on the latest status. After you've decided on a region, the next step in preparing your AWS infrastructure is to create a new virtual private cloud or VPC that you will later link to your VMware Cloud SDDC. This requires an AWS account, which you can easily create if you do not already have one. Creating a VPC is straightforward. But before you begin, you will need to decide on the private network address range that you want to assign to the VPC and subnets, because it cannot be changed later. Similarly, your VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC will also require you to designate a block of addresses for management of the VMware components. This will enable future integration with your enterprise services, more unified management of your hybrid cloud, and easy migration of your workloads. So you'll need to plan for two separate blocks of private IP space that do not conflict or overlap with existing networks in your enterprise. The exact size varies with the projected scale of your deployment, but it's good to allow room for future growth. One common approach for AWS infrastructure in general is to allocate at least a slash 21 or slash 22 CIDR block to a VPC, which can be divided as needed into smaller subnets across multiple AZs. After you create your VPC, the next step is to create one or two subnets within that VPC that are specifically for your VMware Cloud on AWS deployment. You can also optionally create other subnets for your native AWS services. If for some reason you are limited to a smaller block of addresses, a slash 26 VPC subnet is the absolute minimum needed to meet the VMware Cloud SDDC requirements. Selecting a larger CIDR block is recommended since you can link multiple VMware SDDCs to a single VPC and subnet. The number of subnets needed for your VMware Cloud on AWS deployment depends on the type of SDDC cluster you intend to deploy. Standard clusters require one subnet, while stretched clusters use two subnets, each in a different AZ for resiliency. Workloads running on your VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC will be able to route to any of the other subnets that use the main VPC route table. Now that you've planned your IP address allocations and created a VPC with one or two subnets, your AWS infrastructure is ready for a new VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC deployment. In the next segment, we'll show you how to get started with the service. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.